I welcome you to Ziwa Rhino Sanctuary. Uh, this is the only place where you can see white rhinos in Uganda on foot. Rhinos in Uganda were completely extinct in 1983, both the black and white. This place is Iwa was identified as a special place for breeding the white rhinos. So we're trying our best to see that rhinos in Uganda come to existence as they used to be some years ago. Right now we have about 37 rhinos and our major aim is to keep breeding more. When we get up to 50 rhinos, we are very soon starting up a second sanctuary that is going to be in the national park. The mother we are seeing, she's called Madame. She's one of the youngest mothers we have on the sanctuary and her calf is about two months old. Mostly in other areas around the world, female rhinos start having babies at the age of six or seven. But here, our rhinos are starting early to have their babies. Like for her, she's only four years and a half and she's already having a baby. That shows that the environment they are in is really very nice for them. They have plenty of grass and water, no stress, and also plenty of males that are always ready for the females. Here we are seeing a mother called Uhuru. Uhuru is a Swahili word that means freedom. She's only eight years old and her calf is one of the youngest babies that we have on the sanctuary. Only one month and a half. When the baby wants to suckle, the baby first of all will have to request milk from the mother by making a squeaking sound. It's a sound of request. They do it like this. And the mothers are always listening. The mother most of the time has to lay down or stands up and then the baby lays down and then suckles milk. But there are instances where the mother wants to rest and is sleeping down, the baby is requesting for milk, so the mother will have to open the hind legs just when he's sleeping on the ground for the calf to enjoy the milk. Here we see a group of five rhinos with only one mother having her calf. The rest are just adapted from other families. Their mothers had new babies and they were sent away. So this peaceful mother welcomed them to make sure she can give protection to them because most of the time uh, babies that are sent away by their mothers, they cannot uh, take care of themselves. So they need to find any peaceful mother that can adapt and gives protection to them. She's also pregnant and very soon she's having a new baby whereby she feels more safe being together with this group because she knows when she's soon calving her daughter is going to stay safe with the friends. So the dangers mostly with poaching are these horns you know very well they are mostly on the Chinese market whereby a kilo of a rhino horn uh, can be sold at around 65,000 US dollars and only one horn grows to weigh 8 or 10 kilograms costing around a half a million dollar for one horn. So that is one of the most dangerous things about rhinos in Uganda.
So for the feeding activity, you know with the rhinos, they only feed on short grass. They feed for around three to four hours in the morning, go down to sleep until at around four or five p.m. When the sun goes down, they get up, start eating, go drink water, roll in the mud, cool down the body temperature, and then in the night, they are more active because of the weather being cool. And when they feel that they are satisfied, they will have to go down and sleep.